What's going on guys, Andrew here, welcome back to a whiff of this. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, smell them, get my first impressions, and we also spray them on skin and on paper. Today I'm adding a new house to my collection, which is none other than Montel. And this one is called Woods and Spices. So shout out to Curly Fragrance and Miss Fresh, or Michella, and I forgot her other name unfortunately, but shout out to both of them because they actually put me on to this scent. It was either between this one and Intense Roses. Intense Roses is a more feminine fragrance, but they did say it's supposed to smell good on a man. I may get it really soon, but for right now, I said we'll go with Woods and Spices. It also did cost less. I got off a of fragrance net for about $78 or about $79 after tax, but it does retail officially on Montel's website for $140 for the 100 milliliter version or $3.4. Four ounces. I'm on Montel's site right now and they don't really don't give you much notes. It shows ebony, which is pretty much a woodsier note. And I literally haven't seen ebony in any fragrance that I have. Uh, it has sandalwood, vetiver, and it also shows some cardamom as well in there. When I go to base notes websites, it does say it was released in 2005, which is, I didn't know that it was this old. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut this um, open really quick. There's only about two or three other brands that I really would like in my house or collection. And that's Tom Ford, Raja Parfums, and uh, Zerjoff. Those are the main three that I want and they are very expensive. Zerjoff is one of the most expensive ones. Same thing for Raja Parfums. Let's go ahead and open up the packaging here. I'm very curious on what the box feels like as well as, it's actually a dupe. It's actually a navy blue box just looking at it. It's not a black box. Okay, let me see what this thing feels like. It feels pretty nice. I like the feel of the box. It, I mean, it feels obviously like a box, but it has this nice glossy uh, finish to it, as you all can kind of tell. Nothing crazy. Um, like I said, for it to retail for 140, it'd be nice to see a little bit more, but Wooden Spices 3.4 ounces. Um, on the back, it just shows like the ingredients, like alcohol and whatnot. And let's go ahead and open it up though. I didn't know it came with a little bag. That's nice little touch right there. It's very light. It feels pretty light. I do like the feel of it though. It's It does feel really nice. It actually feels, well, it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel super elegant like uh, my Alexandria fragrances. Like this one, it has this nice velvet finish with the black and gold. I really like that one. Um, Alexandria fragrances for 50 bucks. He has some of the best packaging. I thought it was gonna be heavier, but it's super light. I know y'all hear the sound of the uh, thing. So let me try to take that off really quick. It looks pretty plain, but it's nothing bad. It definitely is gonna be a fingerprint magnet for sure. Just a little bit more of a close up there. You can't see through it. It is fully metallic. Um, I like that it does come with this cap because that's gonna help so you don't accidentally spray, which is a nice touch. Let's see how many sprays it takes for it to come out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, okay. So it took four, so nobody sprayed this before, which is good. I'm gonna sit that down. Oh, dang. Oh. Oh my gosh. Michelle. Oh yeah, y'all were right on this one. Oh my goodness. This is like, oh man. What fragrance did I used to have? What in the world? It smells like something I had. I just can't think of it right now. Hold on. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I know the mic just peaked. Okay. It smells like Versace Dreamer, but an even more elegant version. Like if you don't know what Versace Dreamer is, it's a discounted fragrance now. They don't sell it anymore, but I used to have this scent. I actually got rid of it. I gave it to someone else. I really like that scent. And I was just thinking, I was like, man, should I rebuy Versace Dreamer? Now I don't have to. It's light. It's airy, it's not overly like, it's not overly woodsy notes. This is great on paper. So let's go ahead and spray it on skin. I'm not gonna spray it on my shirt because I may wear this shirt tomorrow. This is just for the video. So here we go. Oh man. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Oh my goodness, yo. This is like, I'm just gonna say it, this is like a eight and a half, nine automatically. I'm just gonna let y'all know. This is gonna be eight and a half for sure. This is a blind buy just like most of my fragrances are and this is definitely one of the best blind buys that I've done. 
Uh, I am very happy with this scent and I can't wait to do a full review on it. For $140, I don't know if it's worth $140, but it definitely was worth uh, $78. So I'll definitely leave the link down in the description box below. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.